Chloe. I'm the marketing manager here at Wally's, and we're back from the farmer's market, and I'm here with our executive chef, Ryan Kluver, with some fresh produce that we just got in from the farmer's market. We have these beautiful melons, and he's going to show us some really easy and delicious ways to prep it at home with some things you can get from Wally's and have a delicious spread all in your own kitchen. So yeah, what are we doing here? Yeah, thank you, Chloe. Um, so, you know, these are those awesome uh, melons we got from uh, Mr. Weiser over at Weiser Farm. Uh -huh. um, you know, he had walked us through kind of the different varieties. Um, you know, these are some just really ripe summer melons, um, you know, kind of farmer's market. Um, you these know, are just not those... your grocery store melons. Yeah, these are they definitely look not. They smell different. I can smell them from across the table. They're just so fragrant and yeah. beautiful. Yeah, you know, it's just got this beautiful, almost like a summer uh, perfume is kind of like my favorite way to describe them. You know, what I'm going to be making is, it's almost like a simple, uh, kind of like a tapas style dish. You know, this is a great dish for like if you're having a party. It's going to be a take on like a prosciutto and melon, only we're going to kind of uh, adjust the flavors just to kind of get a little more interesting, you know, but that's kind of the kind of the idea that we're direction we're going to be going. A little so. sweet, a little salty. Exactly. A little savory. You know, kind of a, just a very classic combination. And then we've got these really beautiful uh, different kind of melon color varieties. These are super ripe. Like you bought them at the farmer's market yeah. yesterday. They're already ready to eat. Um, can you tell me about like the right way to buy melons or the right time, how um, to find the right ones? You know, really, I like to say like kind of your nose will kind of guide you on these guys. Normally when you pick something up you want to see if it feels heavy for its size if it doesn't it normally means it's drier uh, these you can feel really heavy so they're really juicy and I like to kind of like over by kind of where the stem is I like to give it kind of a, a little bit of a smell um, you know I think you definitely can kind of tell a lot by how melon smells how ripe and mm -hmm. how strong it is so, so that's that fragrance is gonna tell you if it's yeah. ready to eat now or not exactly I just started some really kind of nice little thin wedges uh, now I'm just gonna kind of remove the flesh from the the peel and then we're actually going to save the peel and kind of do something with it to help for plating it up a little bit. So we're and just going to kind of cut so the wedges out. It's so ripe that it just comes right off. Oh yeah, it's really, really nice right now. And just, you know, you want to make sure you don't get too much of that core kind of on the, on the melon. You don't want any of the peel. Yeah, you don't want to eat any of that. But, you know, just kind of leave this nice, really fresh flesh. Do these melons have different names? Yeah, so we're, we're looking at a... Um, Kaisapo melon is this really lighter bit color. Uh, we've got a Gaia, and then this one's similar to like a cantaloupe variety that we're using. It's a Tuscan melon. So I've got a bowl here with some ice. You know, this is a, a cool appetizer, so you know, I want to keep it definitely kind of in mind with hot and just keep it nice and refreshing. Perfect for summer. Yeah, these little, um, the peels that we save from cutting the melon, I'm going to use those to kind of be our little bases uh, for this guy. We're just going to kind of put them into the ice. You know, these will kind of help hold our little appetizer bites. Hmm. Uh, and then too, it just kind of looks cool. We're gonna just cut some nice, you know, little pieces, uh, you know, kind of like three per, uh, depending on the size of the melon. Like finger. Yeah, something that you can pick up and you want to think of that something you're gonna be able to do a bite of. From here with this one, uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. Uh, this is our Marciano Estate olive oil. You can get this one at any, you know. Give that them, kind of brings out the sweetness a little bit more. Yeah, and we're cooking very simple. It's very fresh, uh, but we want to make sure we're kind of using salt and kind of olive oil along the way just to kind of help build some of that flavor, kind of highlight what we're doing. This is a little bit of salt. And then, too, I like to add a little bit of uh, lime. You know, I really love using, like, lime juice, uh, especially in summertime. So we've got our melon, and then now for kind of like that salty component, we sell a really great uh, brazola wow. from, like, Brooklyn. Uh, from the Brooklyn uh, company and then too it's a little bit um, I like using this it's a little bit leaner than like prosciutto uh, and then also I know a lot of our customers kind of don't do pork uh, this is a beef product so it's a oh, little cool. bit better yeah so it's kind of people that are you know kind of watching there and then too it's just that little bit of leaner it's got a nice little more flavor I'll just kind of layer these on this guy we're gonna end up skewering these kind of like a little kind of pickup bite so I just want to kind of start building you know some ones on top putting you know? a little umbrella on them to keep yeah them exactly like a little sun. yeah and then too, like I like to kind of top it off with, uh, we've got these really great little kind of uh, French sweet peppers. You know, we use the, we love using these on our boards and stuff here at Wally's. Uh, they just make like a nice little kind of lightly pickled, lightly sweet kind of uh, accoutrement to these kind of dishes. So I'll just kind of take these and I'll skewer these onto the tops of the, each of our guys here. So we'll kind of go like that. And then kind of, yeah, Beautiful. just go through. Yeah, it gives it like a nice little kind of color. Yeah color pop here and it's so. so simple and easy but yeah exactly you know this is a great combination yeah and this too like instead if you don't want to go fancy like this it also just makes like a great salad um, it makes a great like picnic salad for bringing to the beach or kind of going to a park as well 
If you just mixed it all together in a bowl instead of Yeah, you could definitely just kind of layer it all in a bowl mm -hmm. and then it just, you know, it's a great, great summer salad as well. So we've got our bites here, so now we'll just kind of arrange it and then we can finish them. So, you know, we'll take them and then you'll see I kind of kept these, you know, little rinds there just so we can kind of have these nice little areas that we can kind of step everything. It's like uh, cantaloupe boats yeah, floating exactly. down an icy river. Exactly. Just like that. Um, we'll do a little, another little bit of olive oil. And there you go. So just And, and that's done. Yeah, that's done. So Real simple. Beautiful. Yeah, so yeah, please, uh, you know, definitely definitely want you to try it. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, okay, I'm going to take uh, this one back. Okay, perfect. Mmm, that's so delicious how you have the sweet from the melon, the salty from the meat, and then these little cherries are like um, the perfect cherry on top. Yeah, exactly, it gives like a little, little pecan, mm -hmm. like little bite to it. Yeah, so, or I yeah. guess they're not cherries, yeah. but um, yeah, yeah, such a pepper. beautiful and refreshing combination, like, and so easy to just kind of whip up before friends come over for a pool day or a beach day or something. This was amazing and you can get all of these right here at Wally's. We have sweet peppers, we have brassiola, you can get this delicious olive oil, drizzle it on top um, and make a delicious and refreshing snack for when you have friends coming over for a pool day, beach day. Um, it's just delicious. So thank you so much, Chef, yeah, for your time. You this was incredible. Thank you.